Okay, everyone. Um, I just had a problem with my time and went over 11 minutes. So I got to do this all over again. Okay, back to what I was saying. Wow, wow, wow. Back to what I was saying. Um, first video, I told, okay. This part we'll be talking about. We're getting down to business. Okay. We're getting down to business. And what I normally what I do is um, I memorize certain. Now I told you before about uh, I told you I told you before about the grammar. Uh, someone asked me, or several people asked me about the grammar. They said they don't know whether or not they should go. They don't know whether or not to focus on grammar or focus on uh, vocabulary. Well, the first thing um, you don't want to do that. Okay, you don't want to focus on grammar. Spend two hours, three hours studying grammar. That's a no-no. Okay, we want we want this to be a fast process. That's why I call this language role running. Okay, this that's why that's that's why I call it foreign language role running because we don't spend all that time studying grammar. We want to keep it going. We want to keep the speed going. Okay, so we don't want to spend that much time on grammar. We don't want to spend hours trying to memorize vocabulary because. One thing, vocabulary is going to come. That's the easy. That's so easy. Vocabulary and grammar is going to come naturally. Okay, so if you learn, if you if you if you decide to spend time on a grammar, you know, spending two or three hours, I mean, it's fine. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. If you're just uh, if you're just interested on how the grammar works, you're a linguist. That's fine. But if you're trying to really learn the language and want to learn it fast, don't do not spend that much time on grammar. Because what's going to do is going to hold you back. Then you're going to have times where some of the stuff won't make sense. And you want to sit there, spend hours on it, just pull the hair out, and it's going to become frustrated. And you're going to probably, it's going to make you discouraged and you're going to give up on the language. So we don't want to spend that much time on grammar. Okay? You want to memorize, memorization technique. Okay? I use that technique. I memorize a lot of stuff at the beginning because I know it, it grammatically, Eventually, it's going to make sense. Once you memorize it, later on, you're going to see it again. You're going to keep seeing it, keep seeing it, keep seeing it, and it's going to start making sense. So that's what you want to do. Now, um, now, as far as uh, let's see here, as far as uh, getting started here, what I do, let me show you. I'll show you what I do. Now, I know I just told you. Um, I know I told you about the uh, about spending time on memorizing vocabulary, but you have your exceptional vocabularies, okay? You have your exceptional vocabularies. What I do, I memorize these vocabularies. First set. with these, right? You know, many of you probably are saying, oh, that's that's some middle school and uh, kindergarten stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you why these, why these words, why these vocabularies are effective. In my experience learning foreign language, um, I tend to get asked all these questions here, even in the beginning, even when it's the first conversation, the first encounter. Okay, people want to ask you, who are you? They're going to ask you, okay, Who's, who's, who's teaching language? Who are you learning language with? What is what is what method are you using? Uh, what they may ask you what method you're using, or uh, what what influences you, or what's your reason for learning language? When did you start learning the language? Where are you learning the language? Why are you learning the language? How are you learning the language? And which uh, what about which? Oh, they may ask you which language do you find most difficult? So I tend to get asked these questions. So these interrogatives here, um, these interrogatives are very good to memorize. Because you will be, trust me, you will be interrogated. In the first encounter, you will be interrogated. Okay, so you want to uh, 
memorizes interrogatives, okay? Now, uh, this that's the first, those, that's the first set. Now the second set are going to be, let's see, let's see, you have your adverbs and conjunctions. Okay, you want to memorize as many adverbs and conjunctions in that language as you can. Okay, I'm just going to come up with some, let's see. Okay, we'll stop there. So, uh, yeah, those, you want to memorize those. These are going to be important. Now, what the conjunction and the adverbs are going to be for, they're going to be for, uh, they're going to be for constructing, making you, making you uh, construct sentences fluently fast. That's what's, that's, what they, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so those of you who sent me those messages telling me that you, you're unable to form sentences, uh, you don't know how to go about forming sentences or whatnot. Today, hopefully this video, after this video, after you're watching this video, you will have a pretty good idea on how to go about doing that now. Okay, so these adverbs and conjunctions, okay, I'm going to show you what I, usually, what I usually do. Okay, so let's take, for example, uh, who. Okay, let's start with who. Okay, so if, if the native speaker asks me, so who, who's teaching the language? Who, who are you learning English with? I will follow up with this. Honestly. Honestly. I will say, honestly, I'm learning the language. I'm, I'm learning language independently. Okay. Honestly, I am learning the language independently. Now, I can use another one of these words over here. I can say usually, um, I can say, well, usually, usually I study language independently. I can say something like that. But let's, let's go with honestly. Okay, honestly, I'm learning a language by myself or independently. Okay. Check my time. All right. This is so annoying. All right, so honestly, I'm learning a language independently. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you, I will say, honestly, I am learning language independently, okay, and then I will go back and say, however, or, or but, I'll go back and say, however, or but, I don't know, um, I'll say, however, or but, I'm not that good yet, I will say something like that. When they ask me, who are you learning the language or who's teaching, I'll say, well, honestly, I'm learning the language independently, but I'm not really that good yet. Look at that whole sentence that you just made, just, you know, from just knowing these here. Okay, now, um, if you don't know how to say, you can easily learn how to say, I learned a language, uh, I'm not good yet, whatnot. That's, that's the stuff you're going to uh, learn from the phrase book. I'll explain that to you in a minute. Okay, my time. So I go from honestly, they say, who are you learning language with? Who's teaching you? I'll say, honestly, I'm learning language independently. But I'm not that good yet. Or but I only speak a little, I only know a little bit. I only have a little knowledge of the language. Okay. And then you can, let's see. All right, I'm on a, uh, time is at 9.30 now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here and uh, start another one. I don't want to get into death and go over the timeline again. I'll see you guys in a bit.